Okay, let's talk about Android 15. So just last week, Google has announced the release of Android 15 beta 2.0 and I've been using it for the last few days, you know, just playing around with it and testing it out and what I can see is pretty neat and I have to say it's a pretty substantial update at least on the privacy and security part. And there's also a bunch of quality of life improvements and UI tweaks to make your Android experience a lot, lot smoother. So here's a few top tier features I think are pretty cool. So right off the bat, the feature that stands out most to me is the private space feature. And it does exactly what it sounds like it does. What it basically does is it creates a separate private app drawer for you. So initially you have to set it up and it's a pretty normal process. And after that, every time you want to access your private space, there's an extra layer of verification in it. You can find this feature at the very bottom of your app drawer or app dungeon in my case. Yes, I have too many apps for whatever reason, 90% of them is almost never used. You can install any apps on your private space and also create separate instances of the same app. So basically that's where you put all the apps that you don't want anyone else to see. So the second one is also a very cool one and it's a pretty important one for a lot of people if you ask me. So now you can select separately or specifically a single app to record your screen and also share it with someone else. And also if you're sharing your screen with someone and accidentally end up opening up your banking app or any other finance related app, it will make the screen go completely black on the viewer's end. And it's gonna be a lifesaver for a lot of people out there. You'll find the option to choose an app once you click screen record on the notifications menu. I personally think this will be a great feature for so many people out there who loves making tutorial videos. So this one is a really interesting one and it's called anti-theft protection. So what this feature basically does is if someone snatches your phone from your hand, let's say from a bike or a car or just grabs it and makes a run for it, it'll automatically lock the screen. And also if your phone is off the grid for an extended period of time and if there's too many failed attempts of unlocking it, the auto lock feature will kick in. And there's also this feature where you can remotely lock your phone as well. And there's this new feature that I really appreciate and is currently only exclusive to Android 15 and that is nobody can now reset your phone without your Google credentials. Which is a huge lifesaver of an update if you ask me. Because that's the go-to thing every thief does once they steal your phone. They just reset it. And now, because of this update, they cannot do that. They'll need your Google credentials to reset your phone. Which should be difficult for them. So this one is a very simple one. It's called OTP protection. And it does exactly what it sounds like. So basically, we all know if we request any kind of one-time password, from any services and you can just clearly see the OTP on the notification pop-up which can cause major security threats. So what this basically does is it hides your OTP on the pop-up notification protecting you from the eyes of hackers looking over your shoulders. So this last one is also a very simple and basic one but I think it's also a pretty handy one and it's called custom vibrations. So basically now you can set up custom vibrations for each individual apps. So now this will basically help you to get your priorities straight when your phone is on vibration mode. So these are some of the main and most celebrated features of Android 15, but there's a whole lot more quality of life improvements, such as a redesigned volume slider, predictive back, better multitasking, and many more. There are features that hasn't even been announced yet. And if you're someone who's thinking about trying out Android 15 beta 2.0, then I personally do recommend it. Like yeah, there are still some bugs here and there, like the UI of my fingerprint sensor disappeared once or twice. <laughs> to be fair, it didn't look that bad actually. I, I really love the minimal no icon home screen. <laughs> this is still in beta phase guys, it's bound to have some bugs here and there, right? But if you're unsure about how your device will react to this new beta OS, then the fully stable version of Android 15 is rolling out in just a few months. So yeah, it's not going to be a very long wait for you to try out Android 15 if your device does end up receiving the Android 15 update. So guys, let me know what you guys think about Android 15 beta 2.0 or the Android 15 update in general in the comment section below. And please do hit the subscribe button if you want to see more contests like this in the future. Till then, adios.